equivalent fractions. I'm going to show you some ways to find equivalent fractions. Remember, equivalent means equal. These fractions all equal the same amount. So this page is about three-fourths. One way to find equivalent fractions is by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number. So what number is that at the top? It's 2. Multiply the top number by 2, that's the numerator. 3 times 2 equals 6. And I multiply the bottom number, the denominator, by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Now y is 3 fourths equal to 6 eighths. Because we multiplied it by 1. 2 over 2, the fraction 2 over 2, what's that? It's the number 1. Picture a circle cut in half. You have the two halves together. That's one circle. You have 1. 2 over 2 equals 1. When you multiply something by 1, what's the answer? The same number. It doesn't change. So we even know 3 fourths and 6 eighths use different digits. They're the same amount. If you had, uh, let's see, if you had eight M&Ms, and you ate six of them, you ate six-eighths of them. Well, if you want to put them into four groups, there'd be two M&Ms in each group, and you ate three-fourths of those groups, you'd eat two, four, six, you'd eat six M&Ms. You could try it now. Do you have chocolate chips or something in your house? <laughs> you can see that three-fourths and six-eighths are the same amount. And I did another example for you. Three-fourths times one. And this time I wrote four over four for my one. Three times four is twelve. Four times four is sixteen. Three-fourths equals twelve-sixteenths. So three-fourths equals six-eighths equals twelve-sixteenths. They're all the same amount. They're all equivalent fractions. Another way to find equivalent fractions is to divide by 1. If you divide a number by 1, the number stays the same. So here I have 6 24ths, and I'm dividing the top and bottom number by 2. It has to be the same amount. It has to be, you have to divide them both by the same number, because that's 1. 2 twos is 1. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, 24 divided by 2 is 12. 6 24ths equals 3 twelfths. Now if you have a number like 6 24ths, you can see that the top number and the bottom number are both even. So you know right away that you can divide both numbers by 2. And then I divided them both by 3. 3 thirds is equal to 1. So 6 24ths divided by 1 is still 6 24ths. It's still the same amount. I'm just changing the digits. I'm reducing the fraction, making it with smaller numbers. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 24 divided by 3 is 8, 6 24th equals 2 eighths. Now one thing when reducing fractions or looking for equivalent fractions, one thing you can always do is see if the top number divides into the bottom number. 6, does it go into 24? It does, 4 times. So we know we can divide both numbers by 6. Because when you reduce fractions, usually the goal is to get the smallest numbers possible, to use the smallest numbers possible to make that fraction. So since we can divide them both by the numerator, let's do that. 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 24 divided by 6 equals 4. So it turns out that 6 24 is 1 4. And you could try that now. You could make, um, <laughs> if you're allowed to mark up a calendar, you could get 24 squares on the calendar and color in 6 of them. You'd be coloring in 1 4 of that, that grid on the calendar. Alright, I hope this helps you understand it a little better.